In this video, we're going to talk about how to factor any quadratic equation using the quadratic formulas. Now, let's say if we need to factor an expression that looks like this, 12x squared plus x minus 20. Now, there are some techniques that we could use to factor it, but because these numbers are large, the regular techniques will take some time. Fortunately, we could use the quadratic formula. And here it is. It's x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. a is the number in front of x squared. b is the number in front of x. If you don't see a number, it's a 1. And c is negative 20. So using this formula, let's start over here. It's going to be negative b, or negative 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared minus 4 times a. a is 12, and then times c, which is negative 20, divided by 2a, or 2 times 12. So now let's simplify what we have. 1 squared is 1, and then we have negative 4 times 12 times minus 20, which is... 960 and then 2 times 12 is 24. 1 plus 960 is 961 and the square root of 961 is 31. So at this point we have two possible answers for x. Negative 1 plus 31 over 24 and negative 1 minus 31 over 24. Negative 1 plus 31, that's going to be positive 30. And negative 1 minus 31, that's negative 32. So what we need to do at this point is we need to reduce those two fractions. So 30 over 24. 30 is 6 times 5. 24 is 6 times 4. And so we could cancel a 6. So x is equal to 5 over 4. That's one of the answers. For the other one, we could say that 32 is 8 times 4. 24 is 8 times 3. So if we cancel an x, we get that x is a negative 4 over 3. So now, once we have these two solutions, what do we need to do next? What we want to do is move the 5 over 4 to the other side. It's positive on the right side, so it's going to be negative on the left side. So we'll get that. Negative 4 over 3, we want to move it to this side. It's negative on the right side, but it's going to be positive on the left side. So as you move it from the right side to the left side, just change the sign. Now, we need to get rid of the fractions. So for this one, I'm going to multiply everything by 4. x times 4 is 4x. Negative 5 over 4 times 4, the 4s will cancel, giving us negative 5. And 0 times 4 is 0. Now for this one, multiply everything by 3 to get rid of the fraction. So this is going to be 3x. 4 over 3 times 3, the 3's will cancel, giving us 4, and 0 times 3 is 0. So our answer is going to be 4x minus 5 times 3x plus 4. And so that is how you can factor any quadratic equation, including the difficult ones, using the quadratic formula. And we could check it. We could check our answer by foiling what we have. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. And then 4x times 4 is 16x. Negative 5 times 3x, that's negative 15x. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. So combining like terms, which we can combine those two, we have 12x squared, and then 16x minus 15x, that's plus 1x minus 20. So that's to show you that this technique does work.
So now you know how to factor any quadratic equation, including the difficult ones where you have large numbers. You could simply use the quadratic formula, get the solutions, and then put them in factored form. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching.